so let's see how to tackle the limit problems so the basically the limit problems are of two types so in the first type of problem we will either factorize it or rationalize it or use lh rule what is lh rule the l hospital rule which is used for zero by zero and infinity by infinity form so we will see in the later uh, part of the video how we will apply lh rule so other questions are of type of one to the power of infinity and infinity minus infinity etc type so in these types of problem what we do basically do is we convert these types into lh form that is zero by zero and infinity by infinity how we will do it we will take log on both side so we will see the how we will do it in the later part so what is lh rule so lh rule so whenever you get zero by zero form or infinity by infinity form it is called an indeterminate form so in these types what we have to do is keep differentiating the numerator and denominator until you get the determinate value you have to keep on you you have to keep on differentiating the numerator and denominator until 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 and unless you get the determinate value so so i was talking about this one to the power infinity form you have to take log both sides so that we can bring it to the zero by zero or infinity by infinity form so that you can apply lh rule so we will see some example so here this problem so you can solve this problem by two method so either you can apply the lh rule or the other one the factorization rule we will see so here you can see that when you put minus 3 in this uh, in, the, in this polynomial you will get 0 by 0 form so it is so here you can use lh rule so what we do in lh rule we keep on differentiating the numerator and denominator until and unless we get determinate value so if you differentiate the numerator you will get 2x plus 4 and if you differentiate the denominator you get 2x plus 5 so again put the value so if you put the value you get minus 6 plus 4 by uh, minus 6 plus 5 so this time you are getting a determinate value so no problem so what will be the minus 2 by uh, and in, in denominator you will get minus 1 so minus 1 is will get cancelled so 2 is the answer so we will see one more uh, one more method so we will do this by factorization method so we, if we factorize the numerator you can see that it is x plus 1 into x plus 3 and the de denominator is also uh, x plus 2 times of x into x plus 3 so you can see that this this part was the responsible for our indet indeterminacy so you will just cancel this so now you can see you are left with only x plus 1 by x plus 2 so let now just put the values so minus 3 plus 1 by minus 3 plus 2 so we get minus 2 by minus 1 so minus 1 as will be cancelled so 2 answer you will get so now let's move to the next problem so now let's see this problem so here you can see if you put 4 here then you will get 0 by 0 form so here either you can use lh rule so that you differentiate the numerator as well as denominator until and unless you get the determinate value or let's see one more method that is the rationalization method so how we will proceed so you just need to simply rationalize it so to rationalize it you have to uh, multiply the numerator and by conjugate of this root x plus 2 root x plus 2 and in denominator as x minus 4 as it is so you can see that x minus 4 into root x plus 2 and in numerator it will become x minus 4 when a, a, a minus b into a plus b uh, is equal to a square minus b square so now you can see that x minus 4 and x minus 4 will get cancelled from numerator and denominator so you will get with root x plus 2 now if you put the value of x as 4 you will get root 4 plus 2 that is 1 by 2 plus 2 you will get 1 by 4 as answer so now let's see this problem by lh rule so if you differentiate the numerator and denominator you will get so so in the denominator you will get 1 
and if you differentiate root x minus 2 so 2 will become 0 so here you will get 1 by 2 x to the power of minus 1 by 2 so now just put the value of 4 so 1 by 2 into 1 by root 4 so you will get 1 by 4 as answer so you can see that you can do by both the method either you rationalize it or you just use the LH rule now let's see some few standard results so you need not to learn these results because if you apply LH rule you can directly do this types of questions suppose this you can see the first so here all are 0 by 0 form this is also 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 0 by 0 form and this is also 0 by 0 form so you just need to simply differentiate the numerator and uh, denominator and apply LH rule so see for some example x to the power of n minus a to the power of n by x minus a so if you differentiate x n minus a n by x minus a so in denominator you will get 1 and in numerator you will get x into x n minus 1 so you can see if you put now the value of a so it will give n into a n minus 1 so as it is you have got over here similarly in this case you will get 1 similarly for here you will get ln a so in sin x by x if you differentiate the numerator and denominator you will get 1 over in the numerator and in denominator also 1 similarly for tan x and x also you will get 1 so here also you can apply the LH rule so either you can learn this formula or if you don't want to learn just simply apply the LH rule no need to learn so many formulas so this is what you have to be careful because in these types of question when you get 1 to the power of infinity so what you do you take ln both side and then apply LH rule then 1 to the power of infinity will be converted to the 0 by 0 form and at last like you can uh, uh, take the anti log and solve the problem so we will see in our questions how we will use this uh, so you can either learn this formula also or you can just simply here also you can apply LH rule and get done with it so let's see how to deal with these types of problems where we have 1 to the power of infinity form so if you put x to the power x as infinity in this so you will get 1 plus p by infinity will become 0 to the power of infinity which is 1 to the power of infinity so let's see how we will be solving these types of problems so so what we will do is that we will assume this as y so now take log both side ln p by x ln y now this will come here ln 1 plus p by x so now what we will do we will take bring this x as 1 by x in denominator and x is tending to infinity now you can see that it has become as 0 by 0 form so here also 1 by infinity becomes 0 and and to, at, at top also this p by x will become 0 and it will give us ln 1 which is finally 0 so 0 by 0 form so now we will we can just apply LH rule over here so if we apply LH rule what we will get is in at top we will get 1 by 1 plus P by X and now you have to uh, differentiate the inner part so here you will get P into minus 1 by X square now if you differentiate the denominator so what you will get minus 1 by X square so you can see that minus 1 by x square will get cancelled from in numerator and denominator so at finally you have p by 1 plus p by x okay where a limit x tends to 0 infinity sorry is ln y so if you put x to infinity this will become 0 so here finally we will get p as ln y so here y will come as e to the power of p so uh, what is our final conclusion this this that ln 1 plus p by x to the power of x where x tends to infinity gives e to the power of you can either do 
टेक लॉक बोथ साइड और यू कैन जस्ट मेमोराइज दिस फॉर्मूला आई डोंट थिंक दैट मेमोराइजिंग इज अ गुड आइडिया सो यू शुड बेटर अप्लाई एल एच रूल सो हेयर वी विल सी वन मोर प्रॉब्लम हेयर ऑल्सो इफ यू पुट एक्स टू दस एज जीरो यू विल गेट जीरो इन न्यूमिनेटर एंड जीरो इन डिनोमिनेटर सो दिस इज ऑल्सो आवर एल एच फॉर्म सो जीरो बाई जीरो फॉर्म सो वट वी विल डू वी विल डिफ्रेंशिएट द डिनोमिनेटर फर्स्ट एंड देन वी विल डिफ्रेंशिएट द न्यूमिनेट सॉरी द न्यूमिनेटर फर्स्ट दैन डिनोमिनेटर सो लेट्स डिफ्रेंशिएट सो वी विल यूज द प्रोडक्ट रूल ऑफ डिफ्रेंशिएशन सो एक्स विल गेट डिफ्रेंशिएट सो वन टू एक्स दिस टाइम Uh, we will leave x as it is and we will differentiate 2x to the power x and ln 2 we will get minus 1 in denominator we will get 1 minus cos x will become sin x so now let's put and see x 0 what you are getting so in in denominator you will get sin 0 as 0 and again at numerator i think you will get 1 and 1 minus 1 is 0 and here also you get, you will get 0 so 0 by 0 form again so you have to keep on differentiating unless and unless uh, unless and until you will get a det determinate value that we have studied so again after if you differentiate in sin x you will get cos x in denom denominator and in numerator if you differentiate 2 to the power x then you will get 2x into ln 2 again now if you take out ln 2 and again if you differentiate so x will become 1 To the power x plus this time leave x as it is to the power x differentiated and ln 2. So you can see ln x to the power 0. So in denominator what you will get cos 0 as 1 numerator 2 to the power 0 that it becomes 1 ln 2 plus ln 2 here it will again become 1 when to the power 0 and here. you have zero so this whole term will become zero so here you will get one only in multiplied one so this will become one so ln 2 and ln 2 will give you 2 ln 2 so this is your final answer